Wow. This guy's interested in the pedal. Sweet baby carrots. So they're canned vegetables here. Kumu Farms. Ag Fest Sale. Produce. Fresh produce. Wow. Check that out. Beautiful carrots. How long you Long. Wow. Amazing. A lot happening here. <laughs> Steps toward sustainable management of corn pests. Can we take a closer look here? So this is something produced by Monsanto. They're having a logo here in association with Entomological Society of America, Pacific oh, Branch. Right, this guy is an entomologist. Yes. I work with him. So, who are we talking to? You're, you are? I also, I work there. I'm, I'm Judson. 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 Yeah. Hi, Hi, I'm Paul. Hi, Paul. So, what is exactly, what, what are we learning okay. through the steps towards sustainable management of corn pests in right. Hawaii? So, the old way of thinking, like, do you, do you have a garden? Um... No, actually. But you, you're familiar with a little bit of it, right? You plant the seeds, and then you uh, have the pest that will come in and then decimate your stuff? Yes. Well, if you were to think about, like, um, if you were to take a step back, and you look at how the, how the whole, this whole world works, is these insects manage these insects, and those insects manage those, and it's a big circle of life, right? So this is just kind of accenting, like, what that is, is that you want, you want to have that whole circle of life that balances itself out. And you're not going in there trying to decimate or wipe out a certain population, because you have this, this, this predator that eats the pests. Does that make sense? Thank you so much. So we're talking about biological controls, biorationals and chemical treatments, behavioral management, cover crops and beneficial insect uh, refugia, and monitoring. Well, this is particularly... They're the looking at the corn earthworm, into, earworm integrated pest management, right. IPM. Right, so if you were trying to print it, if you were just trying to... Um, to uh, if you're trying to manage this guy right here, how would you do it? Is what it's saying. And also, you're in listing system. Thank you so much for your information and showing us uh, some of the um, steps towards sustainable management of corn pests in Hawaii. Yeah, you want you want to have a benefit like a, a biological refuge, right? An area for them to for all the insects to be able to um, to coexist and live. And then the next thing you want to do is you want to just monitor, like finding the, I, I get nervous with the camera. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate your time and energy. Yeah. Have a beautiful day. You too. Aloha. So here we have some biodiversity at work here, numerous insects in a closed environment with some plants to help visualize Steps Toward Sustainable Management of Corn Pests in Hawaii, a research paper. That's cool. Aloha. Lots of really, really fresh produce here. Aloha. Aloha. There's just so much at this agricultural festival. And we're just giving you a small taste of what's going on here. Hana Fresh. Beautiful, beautiful exhibit of exotic flowers from Hana.
So the Hawaii Farmers Union United, it's all about the food, farmers market, farmers cooperative, and we have some fresh organic honey, Hawaiian eggplant, coffee Niagara, kombucha plants, beautiful. And there's plants, people are displaying plants. Hawaii Tropical Fruit Growers. Amazing. Aloha. The Hainaluna High School Agricultural Program. Rainbow Acres Nursery. Wow. So we have all kinds of little succulent plants here. And cacti. Beautiful. Aloha. Thank you. Hello. Thank you so much for showcasing all your beautiful plants. Wow. Again, this is just one tent of many here at the Maui Agricultural Festival. Mmm, all kinds of spices and sauces. High spice. And again, lots of samples. High Spice crafted on Maui. Beautiful. Ocean Organic Vodka, wow. Amazing. So now we got more. Another tent. Native species. Native Hawaiian forests in West Maui. Weed assessment, control, endangered species protection, fence building, public outreach. So this is an environmental organization, West Maui Mountains Watershed Partnership, and they're exhibiting information about the area of interest, as you see the close-up, where they are in Maui, where they operate, and all of the different uh, landowning partners with the various colors listed. Beautiful, West Maui Mountains Watershed Partnership. Aloha. Aloha. Biosecurity. Talking about invasive species. This is the Department of Agriculture, State of Hawaii. And they are disseminating public information, handouts. You can have some free stickers, buy local and battery support Hawaii agriculture. We can, we or can you can join away. also learn about the uh, seal equality program and some of the Maui members who are in the program. Help yourself. Thank you so much. Have a fan. Excellent. Here, 3D. Aloha. Aloha. 
So this is another environmentally oriented organization? Yes, we're actually Maui Green and Beautiful. Yes. And we're big on trees. We're trying to educate people on how to take care of trees properly. Is there an address on the internet I could learn more if I had 30 seconds? MauiGreenAndBeautiful.com Thank you so much and aloha. aloha. This has been uh, just a beautiful, beautiful experience before our camera dies. There are many more organizations here. Maui Forest Bird Recovery Project. So, beautiful. Maui Invasive Species Committee is also here. So we're gonna say aloha from the Maui Agricultural Festival at the Maui Invasive Species Committee. And as you can see, they're doing research all over the island. Lots of research, all targeted species, re-eradicating. And if we only had 10 more seconds, what's an address on the internet I can learn more? Uh, you guys can go to MauiInvasive.org. Thank you so much and aloha. Aloha. Well, there you have it before my battery dies out. Just a taste of what's happening here at the Maui Ag Festival. And you can hear in the background, there's music. So this is at Paul Hugel saying aloha for Maui.